Hi guys, it's the end of publishing week. Yay, you're officially published authors. So Monday we will have our publishing party within each of our classes. But before you can do that, you have to practice today how you're going to present your book. Okay, because you've got to share all that knowledge that you have. So I'm going to show you a scientist who wrote a book about something he's an expert in. And I want you to take notice about how he is sharing what he's learned. Hi, I'm Dante, and welcome to Great Lakes Science Center. One of the many exhibits here at Great Lakes Science Center is kind of hard to miss. It's called the Bernoulli Blower, uh, but you might just know it as the thing with the beach ball floating up and down. Uh, it has to do with air, how air moves, the force air has. The main thing really is about forces. If I just take this beach ball and hold it up in the air, and if I let go, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to drop. The force of gravity pulls the beach ball down. It's not dropping right now, not because the force of gravity went away, but because my hand is giving another force to balance the force of gravity, and that's what keeps the beach ball up in the air. Same thing's going on here, only instead of my hand providing the force to balance the beach ball, it's something else, and that something else comes from the air. Right now, when the beach ball's vertical, most of the force that's balancing gravity just comes from that direct pressure of the air blowing out of the blower and the molecules hitting the bottom of the beach ball. That's where most of that balancing force comes from. So friends, he's a real scientist, and he knows a lot about his beach ball and all the forces and gravity that are acting on it. So our goal today, since he did such a good job presenting what he's learned, is this. Take a look. I can rehearse the way I will present information so that I can be clear. So friends, I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, when we present our information or our books, okay, we don't just want to be reading it right out of the book. People don't want to see that. They want you to teach them what you've learned. So when we present, we want to first introduce ourselves, okay, say who you are, say what you've been teaching. So, hey, I'm Miss Zetterine, and I am an expert at cleaning. I'm going to teach you all about cleaning, and I'm going to teach you using my book to help me. In my book, I have three chapters. I'm going to first teach you about the cleaning supplies that you need to keep your house clean. Then I'm going to teach you about how to vacuum your house. And last, I'm going to teach you about how to mop nasty spills up when you make a big mess, okay? So now, after I introduce myself and explain what I'm teaching about, I'm going to use some post-its that I put in my writing to share kind of important parts that I really want to share with you. So the first chapter I'm teaching you about, I'm teaching about cleaning supplies, and I put a post-it here to show kind of what it is that I want to share with you that's really important. So when I'm sharing this page, I'm going to share with you all the cleaning supplies that you use. So guys, you can use Ajax, Soft Scrub, and Fantastic to help you when you are cleaning. Different supplies have different purposes. You use them on different surfaces. You use Ajax for harder surfaces because it's rough and there's more friction when you rub it against things. You use Soft Scrub when you need, it's a little more gentle because it has less friction. It's a little softer, you use it for softer things. And Fantastic is great for all kinds of surfaces. Okay, so see how I'm using my post-it. Now I have another post-it that I want to share with you. In my chapter, I'm also teaching you about vacuuming. And I want to show you, I'm going to start you off with, I'm going to show you the parts of a vacuum because it's important to know the parts of a vacuum when you are vacuuming. Okay, so we have your dust bag here. In this chapter that I read you, you're going to learn about that um, and how you need to replace it when it gets full. Okay. You also hear your crumbs that your rotating brush sucks up so they can stay clean. You want your floor to be clean, okay? And then I'm going to read them my book. 
And if they have questions as I go, then I'm going to answer them because I am the expert in it. So remember today, when you share or rehearse your book, you want to introduce yourself, explain what your book is about. You want to use post-it notes in your book to explain maybe challenging parts or things that you think are really important. And then you wanna thank them for coming. So I'm gonna say thanks guys for listening today. So I'm gonna show you one more time um, how we're gonna to present today, okay? See if you can notice the steps that I just went over. So here we go. Hi, I'm Miss Satterine, and I'm going to teach you today all about cleaning. It's really important that we clean our house. We wanna keep it clean. It teaches you to be responsible and you don't want yucky little crumbs all over your tables and you don't want little mice and, and ants all over your house. So in my book, I'm going to be teaching you, I have three chapters and I'm gonna teach you about the cleaning supplies you need to keep your house clean. I'm gonna teach you about how to vacuum properly. And I'm gonna teach you how we use force and motion when we mop our house, okay? So before I start, I wanna show you some things to keep an eye out for that I marked here with my post-its. So here I'm gonna start on when I teach you about uh, cleaning supplies, I'm gonna teach you about how certain supplies use more and less friction. Friction is something that slows things down or keeps things from moving. So keep an eye out for that if you're not sure what friction is, okay? And I also want to direct your attention to this picture I drew of a vacuum that I labeled because when I talk about vacuuming, you're gonna to need to know the parts of the vacuum, okay? And this part, especially the dust bag, because you're going to need to replace that when you are vacuuming, when it gets full, okay? So here I go. Here's my book. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm really gonna finish up out my book strong. I'm reading it. And then I'm just gonna thank you for coming. So thanks guys. For, I hope you learned a lot about cleaning. I hope you enjoyed this book. Okay, guys, practice because on Monday you're going to be sharing. Make sure you have an introduction, three chapters, and a conclusion. Good luck.